Summertime in Washington is notoriously hot and humid, uh, and at the Capitol, that almost always leads to misunderstandings, disagreements, and discipline over the dress code for reporters and sometimes lawmakers alike. Uh, there's been a flare-up just the other day, and so my colleague Kelly and I are here to try and explain what's what. Kelly, are you dressed work appropriate today? Uh, absolutely not. In fact, today <laughs> I went to work and thought, wow, uh, if I went to the house, I would probably get kicked out. There's multiple reasons. One, I'm wearing sandals you can't see. Two, I'm wearing Open a skirt. Open toes. Two, I'm wearing a skirt I would never wear to the house, frankly. And three, this sweater is very important because I am bearing my shoulders otherwise. Forbidden in the House Speaker's lobby. What about me? How do I look? You you would make it. I would, but did, not yes. if I not if I did this. If you do that, you're out. I'm out. You're out. Uh, blazer. You got to wear a blazer. Men have to wear blazers, uh, even more so than they have to wear ties. Uh, women are not supposed to bear their shoulders. Are not supposed to wear open-toed shoes, uh, and are definitely not supposed to wear hats. And this uh, this stems back from the Jefferson Manual, which uh, says that you must have proper attire in the speaker's lobby and who is up to enforce that the sergeant at arms has to enforce the speaker's rules and sometimes the speaker himself and john boehner was notorious uh it was notorious stickler uh, for proper dress you'll remember he always had his tie knotted he always had his blazer on uh, he pushed the rules about smoking, but that's a different topic. Uh, he would actually dragoon members who tried to sneak onto the House floor in gym clothes to vote. Uh, and he once got in a row with a congresswoman from California named Loretta Sanchez, who was dressed in one of your sleeveless, uh, sort of a sleeveless thing. Um, seems like women have it tougher than men when so they're covering Congress. The casual watcher might not even realize that there's this rule because we sometimes see women on the floor of the House wearing no sleeves. I sometimes see women on the floor of the speaker's lobby, reporters wearing no sleeves, and sometimes I see sandals as well. However, it's up to the sergeant at arms as to whether they're going to enforce that rule. So I think it was about a year ago, I was wearing a no sleeve dress with a neckline pretty high. And um, they said, you know, next time you come in, if you're wearing no sleeves, we will not let you in. So don't do that next time. They were super cordial, but again, this is the rule. So the idea here is they're not trying to prevent us from doing our jobs and they're not trying to make prevent the members from doing their jobs, but it's a sort of one of the last vestiges at the Capitol of sort of a decorum from, from another from another day. I see it as um, just a way that they're trying to continue to kind of put on airs in a way uh, <laughs> that hasn't disappeared yet. Now you're going to take off and go put on a different outfit for when Congress comes back next yeah, week? Yeah, I guess I'm just going to go back to work since it's recess. So. <laughs>